right, Selena's forcing me to have a yoga pose to start things off here. I made David do this. Look how patriotic, David. You look fabulous. But we needed to see his socks. <laughs> So I said, get that leg up there. It's not, it's not polite to have your foot up on the table, but oh my gosh. You did it. And then she said, hold it there, David. Hold it. Don't move it. The show's more just seconds. about. seconds. Don't worry. Oh my gosh. All right. I got my morning stretch in oh, now. Oh, yeah. Now, you, now you're ready for PTL. We are ready for PTL. <laughs> Selena's joining us today. Hey, Heather everybody. has the day off. Yeah. And hopefully you had a fabulous 4th of July. Uh, and, and so many of you probably have today off. So thank you for spending your time off with yes, us. Yes, thank you. And it was amazing, David. So we were with family and friends, but I did make it into town last night. Oh, oh you, were you part of the crowd of the point? Well, no, kind of. So I drove through town. I, my dad was working, so I dropped mm -hmm. dinner off to him. And I oh, came. Oh, you're such a good Well, you daughter. know, everything is closed. So I said, right. you know, we'll bring you some dinner from my cousin Linda's. We'll get to that later. But it was packed. I mean, I could not believe the people at Point State Park. Well, you know what? And I think maybe more so than ever, it's always yeah. a great celebration in Point State Park. The fireworks, of course, last night, right before 10 o'clock, you know, the fireworks finale is right before 10. Uh, but I mean, this is the first big celebration the city has had post pandemic yeah, times, and you know? people were ready. They were ready to get out there and have fun. And I love a fireworks show in Pittsburgh. I know. Like, I, you know what? I just think we have higher standards. We're used to really good fireworks. We are. Uh, and so this was another spectacular show. We loved did, it. Did you see, I know you get up early, David. Were you I able to stay I did not see up? it. I could hear, a, I could hear some, I don't know that it was from Point State Park, but in Lawrenceville, I could hear bang, 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 oh, bang yeah. here and there. Well, I, it, it, it's so funny to me because we, I stayed up, I watched a great show, and then I'm going to bed, and there's, you know, neighbors. Every, I feel like this happens every year. You have neighbors that just keep going. They keep oh, yeah. setting them off 11, 12, 1. I heard them all night. They kept me up all night. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and my alarm go, goes off at two. Oh. So yeah, I heard them, you know, all night too. But you know, caffeine is how you get through yeah. the next day. Yeah, and you're a coffee drinker now, no, David. I'm, I'm really. proud of no, you. No, I'm really not. Still, I mean, I, you you've helped me along a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know what, Big Butler Fair going on too. They oh, yeah. had a big crowd for fireworks last night. Yeah, they did. Uh, and then another tradition that we want to show you, but we don't want to show you too much of this <laughs> because, quite honestly, it's a little gross. It, 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 it grosses me out every year, to it's, be honest. Well, it's the Coney Island, the hot dog oh. eating contest. So this is Nathan's uh, hot dog eating contest. And the same guy that wins every year. There he is. Won again. So I like that we have a nice wide shot. No, don't <laughs> zoom in. Oh, no. I don't want to see. Okay. How does he do it, David? I I don't know. How does he prepare for a contest like I, this? I don't even want to know. But he, know he has either. won 46 world eating uh, championships, oh. everything from hot dogs to tacos. And yesterday, he consumed more than 20,000 calories by down, downing, get this, 76 hot dogs do in do 10 it? minutes. I don't understand. Like, this is a that. choking hazard, is it not? I know. And you know what? I don't know. I don't mean to spoil the fun. I, I don't, when I was sorry. reading up on all of the different food contests he has won, yeah. the one that really surprised me, jalapeno poppers. He ate so many, and I can't remember the exact number he ate, but they're hot. Those are spicy. Right. I don't know. It, he's impressive. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, he is a talent, so there yeah, you go. He's the remaining champ. So hopefully you had a great weekend. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, let's what 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 happened on your weekend. What did Ooh, you do yeah. this weekend? I had a fun weekend, David. We we hung out with family and friends all weekend. So yeah, we had a good time, and I have a lot of fun photos to show right. you. So you're going to share pictures in a moment. Yes. Uh, first up, Tell I want to talk about did. Friday. Uh, because if you tuned in, uh, I zoomed in from home. Yeah, it quite was literally great. Zoom. Your shot so, looked great up there in the attic. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's our fourth <laughs> floor space. It's my little uh, office up there. And so I just wanted to show people, because it was fun chatting with you guys, uh, but I want to show people the setup. It's literally, so I have a picture of the behind the scenes part of it. Oh, so let's see th it. This is literally it. It's just a little tripod thing with my my iPhone on. That's it. all you need. And that's and all your you shorts. need. And I'm on. And yeah, and my shorts. I revealed I, I wore shorts <laughs> both days. I love that's it. That's the one nice thing about working from I home. I know. You can wear shorts. You can I wear mean, anything. I was barefoot. I, I, I really. Well, we could do that here, David. Well, we could yeah. do that here, I suppose. Would that be all right? I mean, you, we're know. doing yoga. We, we, we're could, just, we can take no, the shoes off. She says, put it up on the table. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what else did you do? Uh, well, you know what? Uh, food is always a big part of my, part of my weekend. Thank and so you. Gary snapped this picture. <laughs> I just thought I, 
I don't know what Ooh. sort of face I'm making here. Is that ice cream? It's ice cream with like cherries in this this wonderful rich sauce. Oh. And I don't know exactly what the sauce was, but it was so good. It was a restaurant <laughs> we went to Friday night, Senti, and I love just Senti. loved it. And it, yeah, it's a great restaurant. Uh, it looks uh, like you're enjoying it. And I loved your tip, by the way, with the olive oil and the salt. Oh, did you that try you that? On no, but I'm going to. Yeah, try it. It's mm. really good. It's it's it's, it's something very different than putting it on ice cream. Olive oil and a little bit of sea salt. It's really good. We're going to try um, it. And then the last picture I want to share is so this was right after tennis, and this was so nice. So we stopped to pick up some things in Shady Side, and this woman, I'm sitting in the car, and this woman comes over and she's like, I love you guys on PTL. I watch you every morning. Aww. And so I said, I wanted to meet her and talk with her. Her name's Monica. And I said, Hello, Can we Monica. get a picture together? So we just Aww. love to show pictures of viewers, and Monica was just a bright spot oh, in my I day. Love it. So I wanted to share that because. I love it when people come up and it makes I mean it makes a real difference to us to hear that you're watching and that you you care about the show. It so. does. Well, Monica, thanks for watching. I'm sure she's tuning in right now. Absolutely. I hope you, I yeah, it. I hope you saw yourself. You look great, Monica. I I was a sweaty mess. Well, you posted another photo that I love, David, and you just got done playing and you could tell you had a good workout. I was exhausted. Oh. Tennis tricks me into exercise. That's why I like it. <laughs> yeah. All right, now let's talk about your weekend because you have photos yeah. too. Yeah, we had a great weekend. We really just hung out with family. We hung out with great friends. So this is a photo. It's me and Mac there on the end. And then uh -huh. we hung out with our other friends, Taylor, Jocelyn, Megan, and Eric. So these are two of Mac's best friends from high school. So we had a great time just hanging out together this weekend. And then I got to see a lot of family too. So we went over yesterday to my Aunt Linda's, and this is another shot. We had fun at the pool this weekend. I Wait, got is burnt. this your Aunt Linda, Linda's no, pool? it is not. I can't oh, say it is. I was going to say, <laughs> oh my gosh, we all got to go to it's Aunt Linda's. It's a great Linda's. pool. No, we went to a country club. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, our friend Taylor belongs to. So it was beautiful and relaxing. But that yeah, Aunt great. Linda's was something special because I call her Aunt Linda, and she's really my mom's first cousin. So she right. is okay. amazing. Her and her fiance, his name is Tom, they made this spectacular 4th of July menu. He is a chef. He's a fabulous chef, David. And this is actually my Uncle Dave and my cousin David. So we had all our family there yesterday. Uh -huh. But oh, the menu, I mean, it was unbelievable. I should have brought the menu in because they printed it out yesterday. It was like oh, a really? restaurant. It was that that yes. special, the dinner was. Pheno it was phenomenal. He had just about everything on the menu. And it, it, it was something special, let me tell you. I Don't you love Love it whenever you know someone who's passionate about cooking yes. and they're really good at it, and then everyone else benefits because I, they want to make a meal, and I'm always there to eat. Oh, me too, David. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do. It's, it's I mean, my favorite thing to do too. <laughs> but it was it was good to see everybody and good to get together. You know, yeah. we miss doing stuff like that. Exactly. So it's it been a, nice. it's been a rough year, so I it's know. nice to have some of that back. Speaking of food, more oh my food. gosh, today is kicking off Banana Split Week <gasps> on oh. PTL. I know this is a fantastic <laughs> idea, and uh, great so idea. It's actually, it was Mikey Hood's idea, and so later on in this hour, she is going to be where the banana split was born, right here in Western Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. where it was invented. And all this week, we're going to be exploring like unusual. Banana splits are great places to go for banana splits because it's really like the ultimate summertime treat. It really is. And I know it originated in Latrobe, so she's right. going to be there today. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. The, the only downfall of this, David, is that she's not here. We don't get to try it. I know. Uh, we didn't. Th we did not think this through clearly I know. enough. Because we should have been on remote in Latrobe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What it's, happened here? I don't know. Well, next we'll year we'll, we'll make sure we have that. We're not going to fall situated. for this again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so a movie trailer came out that we wanted to show you. It came out last week, and it's a kids movie. Yeah. But oh, I think it could be fun for adults too. Me too. But it's one of my favorites. It, well, one of your favorite like books. Red, I l absolutely love the book growing up, and mm -hmm. my nieces love it right now. So I know they're so excited to see Clifford. And so the the trailer came out for Clifford the Big Red Dog, yeah. and it surprised some people on social media because there are moments where Clifford looks really cute, and then there are moments that. Clifford looks a little bit scary because yeah, he's really, really big and red. So anyway, just take a look and see whether you can see what they mean. How big is he going to get? That depends, doesn't it? On what? On how much you love him. I wish 
big and strong, and the world couldn't hurt us. Now this is this is the part that I so he goes this in the park scary here. and there's one of these people in those tubes and then he thinks it's like a big ball to play right. with. Right. <laughs> so so fortunately it's just a movie. No one was hurt. You know it's 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 a pretend. You know, it, so, but, some of the scenes are scary like that one in the park. But he is so cute. He's very cute. I want this. Big I think dog. it's going to be a hit regardless. I but think there it are is moments too. when you see it walking down the street. I love people's reactions to oh, it. Oh, people are it's having like, fun with what? it. What? What? Yeah. And some people on social media. This one was fun. <laughs> one person posted. It looks like an ad for anxiety medicine. <laughs> Um, yeah, another one that. said, I mean, it's just funny to see people's reactions. Yeah, somebody else said that not all animated characters should become live action, which that is a great point, Maybe. but I, I like this one. I, I do too. One, and we'll give you one more. One other person said, "What about the poop issue? I know. Are they going to deal with the poop issue?" Oh. I can't. I, <laughs> thank you for taking a close up. Just yes. then, as I say, that, <laughs> there's a moment Great in my career, right? <laughs> no. But you no, know, this is comes out, out in September. Yeah, it's coming out in September. I'm I'm ready for it. I love going to the movies to begin with. Right. I have not been since way before the pandemic, but I'm definitely going to see this one with or without my nieces. I'm going. Okay. We'll go, David. <laughs> You're putting put it out right now. I know. Well, yeah. speaking of films, we know that Amazon will be filming A League of Their Own. It's a series, actually, being filmed here in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And now we know one of the big stars, The Hollywood Reporter, says Nick Offerman is going to play the team's yeah. manager. I'm excited about this. I really only know him from... The or Parks and Rec. Right. I was going to say The Office. He's in Parks and Rec. So when I saw this, I was excited about it. He's so funny, and you know, and he's married to Megan Mullally, yep. who of course was Karen on Will and Grace. Uh, and so he's going to play a role similar to what Tom Hanks played in the movie. And the original movie, of course, you know, it's it, Heather sings the song from she it all the time. She loves it. She loves it. Yeah, Rosie um, O'Donnell in there, Gina Davis, Madonna. Mm -hmm. But we got to get Heather in the movie, David. We do. She loves it. So if you know anybody that can get Heather in the movie. We need to. We need contact us. Yes. Call us. Call Because like we need to work on. We'll this. figure it out. Yeah. yeah. But that would be really cool. There's so many. It's such, it's great to see all of these films and series filmed in Pittsburgh. Oh, it's exciting. I love it. And then you look for like the little moments of Pittsburgh. Like oh, that's the Clemente Bridge. Yeah. Or that's the you know. That's why I love Hallmark, David. You know, there are so many I knew scenes. it was going to come back to Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> it always comes back to Hallmark. But really, there are so many scenes and cutaway shots that they take of the city. Right. So that's a one big reason why I love it. Many others, of course. I know you do. <laughs> and yeah, well, we won't even go down <laughs> yeah. that road. I was going to go down that road. We shouldn't. Because uh, we have other things to talk about. In fact, yeah. we are starting a new segment. We're calling it Help the Technically Challenged which would be me, or help your older colleague, which uh, would also be me. Is this really uh, happening? Yes, well, I mean, today, we're, we're, I'm hoping that you can help me oh. on TV. So I have some examples of, of <laughs> something I've been doing wrong, and I learned this from working from home, because I thought I knew that where the camera was on my phone, yeah. and so I'm zooming with people, and then I realize that I'm like, Looking off looking. to the side, and I'm not really looking the right, yeah. you know, well, even you know, for it, a selfie. It's small. I do that too with a selfie. It's really hard to see where you're supposed to look, you know. Well, see, that's where I, I there's only one camera on the front of it, right? Yeah, only one, and it's okay. so tiny. Because uh, let's take a look at a picture of a selfie that I tried to take. And so <laughs> this is me after that the kitchen segment on Friday. Yeah, with your ice cubes. This is where I think I'm looking at that camera. And yet ah. this is where, and you know, this is what, so then I took another one where I just looked straight on. And there that one go. at least looked better. But you know, I'm, am, am I looking, yeah, looking at the wrong at the side? Or, ah. or is there really, is there a hidden camera that they ah. trick you out with on the other I side? I don't know, David, but you know what? You need to give yourself more credit because your working from home segments looked so good. 
You had oh, a really? beautiful professional setup up there in the attic. Yeah. Well, thank I know, you. Well, you've I don't been know. doing it. You did it last week. Ron was at home all of last week too. Yeah. In fact, let's bring Ron in right now for uh, quickly to chat about this because uh, I mean there are some advantages from working from home, right, Ron? Do you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah you know, it, it's always interesting, and I just call it uh, because of what's going on our COVID timeout. So it's uh, not that we either had it, but you know, when we're traveling, we have to kind of take a timeout. Make sure that you know you can get back into uh, kind of the workflow and everything else. But yeah, it's so different. It's it's work. You know, it's nice, but it's not nice because of the fact that you're still at home. You still want to be comfortable, but you're at work. It, it's just. I don't know. I, I prefer to be where we are right here. I think I do too. I yeah. know. I, I worked from home a bit too, and I still do. I'll do a lot of Zoom stories from home, but it's so much better doing it in person. The quality is better. Your I energy. like the interaction. The energy the is energy better. Is You're better. right. Because like, you feel that you feed off the energy of, of the other That's people. It, yep. And through the Zoom thing, you don't feel it. No. Although I do like wearing shorts. You could still wear them, Maybe David. we could have like a whole week where we wear shorts on PTL. It's summertime. Why not? Why not? Next week. There. Just, you know, Let's just do take it. you, you know, close shots. You know, don't don't show, you know, anything for the waist down. Okay. All right. <laughs> be weird all right. for all the rest of us. We're going to work on that, Ron. Yeah. I like that I idea. like it, too.